A few months ago, there was a rumor that Google was working on an application that could control your phone entirely by voice with no touch input required. Today, a beta version of Voice Access hit the Play Store and the app does exactly that. When you download Voice Access for the first time, it asks you to turn on the accessibility options. Once you've successfully done that, you'll be able to see in the top bar, you'll see Voice Access Touch to Start in the navigation bar. One of the first things that you may want to do, however, is inside of the app and the settings themselves is to turn off the Activate on Lock Screen button. By doing this, every time you unlock the device, it won't automatically go into voice access mode, which was quite frustrating for me until I realized that I could turn this off. In order to start voice access, all you have to do is use your hot word command, or you can pull the notification shade down and touch the voice access touch to start. Once you do, it'll begin listening to you, and everything on the screen will be replaced with numbers in which you can navigate the phone. So if I start it, 16. Four. If you would like to stop it, all you have to do is touch the screen. Touching the screen actually disables it whenever you're using it. I've also noticed that the features that they've implemented into Google Drive with the ability to speak while you're typing and edit made it into here as well. Six. This is just a test. Replace just with hello. Select this is hello. Just. Thirty six. So it definitely works well as long as you know the commands. Speaking of commands, if you open the Voice Access app, at the very top under Help is Show All Commands. There is everything that you can do so far in the app set up here. So it makes it a little bit easier to see what you can do so that you don't have to just bumble around guessing what you can say. There are quite a few commands so far, and if you mix that with your standard hot word commands, you really can control the phone entirely by voice. So far, the app appears to work very well even though it's in beta. I've included in, in the description below a link for you so that you can get access to the beta and try it out for yourself. I encourage you to leave comments in the comments section on things that you found that work and don't work so that we can all learn this app together. As always, thanks for watching.